Today I'm going to be talking about Ultra Pixel. It's an advanced ultra high resolution image synthesis to new peaks. Now this is using stable cascade and what it allows you to do is use stable diffusion to really pump up the resolution of your image while keeping the same quality. So for example on screen you can see resolutions up to 3840 by 5120. The image quality actually doesn't actually decrease the higher you go up. And while this is really cool, so obviously if you have billboards, if you want a high, super high resolution image, greater than the 512 by 512 pixels. So there's a paper that was written by these guys and it goes through, it's quite extensive paper. It actually goes through the methods and the maths behind it as well. So you can see here, they've actually compared it with Mid Journey. You can see ours is on the left and then Mid Journey is on the right v6 which i'm assuming is their latest model you can see a picture of the koala here on the left and the right is mid journey there's another one of a skier both really good quality image generation to me but it, it's good that they've done this comparison there's another one obviously of a woman and who's smiling this one it looks to me it looks more realistic to an extent that's another thing the model does is it improves the realistic element of the imaging so this is an awesome image of a tiger it's at 5120 by 2000 uh, 2560 and you can see here you can zoom in really really close to the image uh, this is another example so this is a paper that is available i'll post links to all of this in the description as well and here more over here so this is obviously some of the image information you can see here online this one as well and so to install this application is very really straightforward if you guys are new to comfy ui check out this video up here on how to install it the other thing you guys need to install is you need to install the comfy ui manager as well so if you guys don't know how to do that just i don't have a video but you can google it the first step you need to do is just head over to this GitHub repository. So this is the GitHub repository. So this guy here, UKPR, has made a comfy UI node for this. Uh, just a warning that this model does require G GPUs with a lot of VRAM. I currently have uh, a 40, 4080S, which has 16 gigs of VRAM. So it's quoted, this was updated a few days ago, that if you want to generate 2K images, you need 10, 10 GB. If you need 3K images, 12 gigabytes. And if it's up to 4,000, uh, 4, you need 16 gigabytes. Now, obviously this is 4K. And if you want to go to, it also provides a control net as well. So I'll be going over this in this video and showing you some of my models and also how to get set up with this. There's two ways you can do this. You can either install it locally into your Comfy UI custom nodes directory by running this GitHub clone and doing a pip install. Or what you could do, which is really, I think an easier option is you can actually just go into Comfy UI, you go into your manager and then you can say install custom nodes manager and you can just type in the words ultra pixel and then you can just say try install this what this will do is it will download a whole bunch of models now this will take quite a while to do it'll create its own separate folder called ultra pixel and it will download all of these models themselves so you can see here if i go and look at how much gigs it is it's a not nearly nine gigs of files so it'll go and do this automatically some people don't like this this is similar to automatic 1111 and the reason why some people actually migrated over to comfy ui was because of this but it ne nevertheless it goes and does all this it also downloads this canny uh control net which i'll show you as well and once this is all loaded up and you restart your comfy ui you should then be presented with a prompt this is really really easy and straightforward so what to get to download these default prompts and comfy ui inside here let me just quickly go through the in this folder over here it should do all of this if this doesn't work another option is to do this git clone thing but essentially it does the same thing i think so inside this here they've got the workflow control net 
and they've got the workflow default. So I'll be going through both of these workflows. You can also download these and I'll be sharing my workflow with you guys as well. So the first workflow default, which is sort of this woman over here to test out what the prompt is. It's just a good example. So you, you got the prompt over here. So this was the prompt over here, very similar. I'll just go through here. That's all the checkpoints over here that were referenced in that folder. So you can see ultra pixel over here. It uses, as I mentioned, stability AR's uh, stable cascade as a base model. And that's obviously how they get the pixel quality. Now the pixel quality itself is actually here in terms of the pixel. So you can set this to be higher if you want. And obviously the image quality will respond to that. So you can see the results here. If I just move it over a bit are really amazing. Look at the quality of this. I just keep on zooming in and, it, and this is a 2K image. If I looked at another image over here, this is also a 2K image. You can just zoom in and it goes even higher than this. So I've tried it. So that's a control net. I've tried it with this owl. So this owl prompt, if you guys want, want some of these prompts, if you look in the paper over here, you can see on what page is this? On page 33, they actually reference all the prompts related to to the images so if you want to try out all of these images over here for example i'll just show you this is the owl that i tried out the prompt is in in this pdf file so you can go and check it out so basically i tried this owl, owl out uh, just where is he uh, there he is so this is 2k really blown away look at the image look at these look at the gemstones and the quality of this is uh, it's just insane uh, just go keep close and close and this is a 2000 by 2000 so it can go up even higher so this over here this one is a 3584 by 3084 same picture of an owl but look like look at the quality here of this you just like keep on zooming 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 in it's really really awesome now i can even go higher than this as mentioned in the paper for you can go up to 4000 so that's only 3000 for 12 gig gpu i've got a 16 gig i tried this and for whatever reason it kept out i think it's because i have so many comfy ui tabs at the top it just got destroyed but i believe if you close everything and maybe if you're running more ram on your pc i only have 32 gigs maybe you have 64 gigs this will work but the image quality here is just fantastic where is it here it is can look at the detail here of the owl and, and it just really blows me away at this image quality now the other thing that this model does have obviously is as a lion it does have a control net so with this control net as i mentioned it's up here and you can grab it there's the workflow and just import it into your comfy ui now this control net itself is really straightforward if you haven't worked with control nets all you do is you put an image of what it is and reference what that person's doing so it was my first time using control net here but what i did was hands on face so you can see one of the hands is there but technically it needed two two hands so if you then what i did then was i just updated this to say both hands on face and what this allowed me to do was then you can see now it's added in both hands itself it does like a, a sketch of it but it does both hands and blown away by the quality of it. I haven't really played with it that much, but I tried out another image of just the bath, one of the Dodge coin up with dogs in a bath, which was awesome. You can see here, the quality of this was unbelievable. And here's some other examples that they have tried as well. So quite, I really like the food, food ones as well. I thought this was really cool and got some other ones this one was really cool i thought uh, with the goldfish inside a car and this one was also cool and this one with the legs i saw the legs were pretty good the arms and it did this pretty well in terms of the limbs but i was really impressed with that this one was cool as well it was just like a from minecraft type of style a robot you can just see the quality is unbelievable this one also close off uh, ultra realistic of a, a woman working out which i thought was cool and just you can see the quality in terms of the fur and just really really amazed by it 
they just got really cool so this one was also cool just with the the elephant inside a beer glass i thought that was awesome and uh, this is some of the control net stuff personalization some other top this one's like more of an oil painting of a cat oh, and this one oh this one was also awesome really cool guys i'll post links to all of this have a go check it out uh, tell me if it runs on your your machine it looks like we need more and more vram to be able to just you know, 50 90 is coming out so hopefully that will have like 36 gigs of vram hopefully you will be able to process these properly so guys give it a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want more videos like this enjoy your weekend until next time see ya